And I'm going to just share a couple of little things with you today that will help set you on that path. And it now becomes uh, a decision that you get to make. You can begin to change your mindset and you can begin to start doing some of the things that wealthy people do. And if you exercise these principles over and over and over, over a period of time, you yourself will be rich. So it first starts out with just the mindset. If you think that uh, there's a a certain level of money that is a lot of money, you're going to basically be capping the amount of money you'll ever be able to make because you're going to think that once you've achieved that, you have already made a lot of money. You need to understand that 10,000, 100,000, a million, whatever the level it is that you're pursuing, you need to understand that it's not a lot of money. There are people who make football players who make a million dollars for every game that they play. There are baseball pitchers who get paid a million dollars for every game that they play. When you start to look at it in that sense, you think it's a whole lot of money. But in the reality of the situation is they get paid that for playing one game. Obviously, there is stuff in between. There's practice and prep and years of training to get them to that point where they have been able to earn that much. But today, that is what they are worth to somebody. They are worth that much for one game that they play. And when you can sit here and begin to wrap your arms around that, wrap your mind around that, that you are the one who can create value. You are the one who can uh, determine what it is you are worth by the value that you provide. And it's not a matter of being paid for one game. It's a matter of being paid for the value that you bring to that one game. When you are a person who owns a baseball team, uh, you're not concerned about how much you're paying that pitcher for their time. You're concerned about the value that they bring to the team and you want to win a game. Uh, It's important for you to win. So having the absolute best pitcher out there who can ensure uh, or do, you know, help better your odds of walking out of there with a victory versus a loss so that you can have a winning season, you're willing to pay more for that. Can you get pitchers who will pay for less? Of course. You can get pitchers who will play for uh, a few hundred thousand dollars a year versus $20 million a year. But if you put those pitchers in who get paid a few hundred thousand dollars a year at the end of the year, you will have a losing season. So the owner of the team is willing to pay for value. Now, having said that, there are many people throughout the world who are willing to pay for value. And you need to understand that at some point, some level, you can bring value to people. If you are somebody who is focused on being paid by the hour and being paid for your time, you will never be paid much. You'll never make a lot of money. Having said that, that's okay. You don't have to make a lot of money to be rich. Um, But if you want to make more money, you need to understand that you get paid for the value that you bring, not the amount of time that you spend. (music) 